Shalom. Shalom. Uh, first, I want to give all praise unto Yehah, Ba Hashem, Yehah Hashem. Uh, double Shalom. honors to the apostles and elders at GMS. Shalom. And salutations to and, uh, and honesty brothers out there pushing this truth to Um The to be honest, the kind of the, we were just talking with a brother, and um, the, the spirit had it where we were just basically going into um, kind of like the the struggles that you go through Come. in this truth, and uh, what the brothers go through, you know, throughout the world, man, under the heavens, and um, kind of what you need to really, what kind of mind frame you need to be in, what you need to expect when, especially when um, for the for the for the brothers such as myself who just you know. Who are still babies in Yahweh Shai, you know, we're, we're just, you know, kind of coming into this, you know, fresh kind of thing. And, um, but ultimately it applies to everyone, man, you know, from the from the top to the bottom kind of thing. Um, uh, I want to start off with um, Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah, this just this whole thing, man. Um, it's not a joke. Come. You know, a lot of a lot of people might look at it carnally, but everything's really spiritual. So, when you're coming to serve the Lord, you know, the Almighty Power, you know, the you know, the Creator of all things, you know that it's not going to be a light thing, <clears throat> man. You can go to um, you get I don't know, you might. You know, like in your job in the world or whatever, you might be late ten minutes or something. Your manager might get on you about that. Yeah. Well, think about what it's like when you know you're not you're not you're not doing the the the, the work or you're not doing it right or you're not being sincere. Or you're not you know you're not being observant of the times or you know in this truth. It's, you know the Most High is gonna see all that. You know at the end of the day, and he he's, he searches the hearts of men, so he knows. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're gonna, mm. what's in your heart, kind of thing. You know. That's why you got, you got to constantly pray and you got to constantly, um, you know, fast as well, and just hope that and just, just hope that you abide in the fear of the Lord, man. That's right. You know, because ultimately, no, nothing is gonna save us other than the Lord in the first place. You know. If you haven't been ordained for that salvation, then it's 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 not for you anyway, man. Sooner or later, you're gonna drop out. You know, right. sooner or later, sooner or later, man, you're gonna you're gonna drop off that that branch, man. You know, and just be decaying on the floor. Can't. You know, if that happens, it purely means that it wasn't your lot anyway. You know. Can't. Um. Set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Like, can I say, and uh, <clears throat> the point there, man, is constantly endure. You know, don't be one of those guys that you know, you, you go through certain things, you, you you pass the hurdle, or in fact, better yet, a, a marathon is twenty six miles, right? Roughly that, yeah. Yeah, don't be a twenty five mile marathon runner. You know, keep enduring, you know, up until you know the Lord comes back, and you know, and just just basically pray, and ultimately. It's what the brother said earlier on about how, you know, you know, this thing is preordained, man. You know, there's some there's some people in you know, even in the circle of GMS that, you know, come to camp and all that, but it's, you know, day of the elect, man. You know, and slowly but surely the like the brother was saying the spirit's just gonna weed them out. And then they're gonna end up, you know, out of this thing, man. You know what it is, man? It's like it says Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. The way you the way you apply that is the fact that right now the time that we're in, we're we're when we're out there on the highways and byways, we're at war. God. We're in the war stages right now. We're we're prisoners of of war right now under God. Esau. So really, in a sense, we're in a, we're in a, we should be in a warlike state. We should be constantly ready to to go down for this thing, man. God. If it has to be. Hey man, I believe it was um, Bruce Bruce Lee. Um, or someone like that, you know, he basically made the statement, um, a, a good warrior is one that is always ready, even in, quote, times of peace. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, I mean, the, the way, like the brother saying, we're, we are in a war, but this war hasn't got gotten physical yet. 
you know, Esau hasn't put us in chains and, you know, put, put, put our heads up in the guillotine. But, you know, we always have to be ready for that war and just constantly, you know, just constantly pray that the Most High keeps that faith on us, man. You know, before a war, right, <clears throat> um, one of the, one of the, a war, really, <clears throat> it can start, it starts in the mind. Because you think about it like this, right, in ancient times, before... Before the actual war happened and your castle got seized or whatever, the enemy would be marching towards you, you know, making chants, blowing trumpets. That whole effect of that whole that whole setup, man, is actually designed to defeat you in the spirit before they've even defeated you carnally. Hey, man, like in 300, how do you think the Lacedaemonians felt when they looked and saw the million man army of uh, Xerxes? Yeah, or or in Lord of the Rings where uh, where they're protecting the Helm's Deep and they see the orcs marching towards them, you know. What you got to realise is that's, in a sense, what Esau's doing is he's really destroying uh, Jake's mind. You can't. First, that's, 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 that's why it says spiritual, wa uh, spiritual warfare in high, uh, in, can't. Yeah, it was high, was it high places. Um, yeah, I've got it here actually. Can't hear. Um, I read it. Ephesians six and ten says, "Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power, <coughs> and in the power of His might, put on the whole armor of the Most High, uh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickednesses in high places, yeah. where." Wherefore take unto you the whole arm of the Most High that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. <clears throat> that armour is talking about the scriptures, man. Because what you got to understand is that what the, the only thing that's going to save you is what's in this book. Once you, you know, if you're of the elect and you understand this book and, okay. and you, you can apply what's in this book, then that's what's that's well, the if if the most size dealing with you. If the most size dealing with you ultimately. Yeah. But what it it goes back to it goes back to um the second verse in, in Sirach where it just says, Set thy heart right. That's right. You set your heart right, you set your mind right by 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 meditating <coughs> on the scriptures <coughs> in every situation and everything that you go through, and that's how you endure. You ain't gonna endure without this because this is the life. You know? This is the the you know, this is for the living. Okay. And then if you you're going about you're living your everyday life you got to be able to apply the scriptures That's right. because ultimately you don't what, what you know is foolishness but what what's in the world around you is foolishness you know That's right. yeah. um come on in a verse three. Can't. Yeah. cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end you want to go into it yeah i want to go into it right, cool. so Cleave unto him is talking about the Lord, man. Cleave unto the Lord and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. It's, it's pretty, that scripture is pretty straightforward, man. Okay. You know, what, what's, what's, if you have the elect, what's the, what's the, and uh, you, you cleave unto the Lord, what's your, what's your last end? Salvation, man. Okay. Salvation, redemption, Amen. and and the rewards. The the you know the apostles asked you how it shall, Lord. We've given up everything. What shall we get in return? You know. So although right now we may be brought to a very 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 low state, you know you you know all when, when whenever you hear the apostles talk about how low of an estate that you know they were brought to at times. You know, Lord, we and those are the men of the Lord, and what they're gonna gain. You know their increase at the last end is is gonna be well worth it, man. Can you know? So it's a uh, verse. Verse four. Yeah, do. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Yeah. For the, uh, yeah. Next one. Uh, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Can and that's the thing, man. You know we'll have to go through th through some stuff and really. Really and true, that's the most high weeding people out. You know, that's just the most high. For instance, certain brothers will, like, like I mentioned earlier, so, some quote unquote brothers are, are 25 mile marathon runners. You know, they, but it, they, there's that one demon that the most high uh, puts them up to battle against. 
Hey, for instance, the best one is games, right? The best example is games. You know, each uh, games will have, um, you know, those uh, fighter games. You boss battles. Yeah, boss battles. You have the boss battle at the yeah. end. Yeah. Some, some people just can't get past the, you know, the third or fifth boss. You know, and then the most I, you know, then it's game over, you know, as, as, you, as you see. Mm -hmm. You know, but really and truly, man, whatever, whatever boss we have to deal with, man, we just have to deal with it, really. You know, Lord, when we we be of the um, we be of the elect. You know, we get to fight the, you know, the the the, the main boss and win. Win and then get the the rewards for for you know for completing this race, man. You know, like and it gives the example here of gold, man. You know, you don't you go, you know, gold gold gets purified and is made perfect, man. You know, and purifying gold isn't isn't a you know, you don't just rub a little duster, man. You have to, you have to fire it up and all that, man. You have to put it through the furnace. Smelting. Yeah, yeah. A whole, there's a whole process to it, man. Um, this is verse six. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. You yeah. know. So ultimately, man, um, all this adversity that we're, we're, go we're going through as prisoners of war, <laughs> you know, really. All you can do is, like, we can't save ourselves, man. Really, uh, uh, although maybe not carnally, but our hands are tied, man. Come on. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah, no, it's about to cut out, isn't it? So. Come on. All right, yeah. well, I'll just, I'll just end on, basically, man, trust in the Lord, man. That's right. And I'll constantly praise his name. That's right. Shalom. Shalom.